we are talking with Elon Musk, and uh, let's start with the IPO. And uh, it's been launched. You are now a public company. How, how, how do you think it's been going? Um, I think it's it's been going reasonably well. Um, you know, the um, uh, you know when we went out with the IPO, we went out at 17, um, and uh, almost the entire time, apart from a few days. Uh, since the IPO, the, the stock has traded above the, the $17 offering price. Um, it was briefly pushed below 17 by some short sellers, and and, and then it was also briefly uh, pushed up to, I think, $30 by, by speculation. But I, I think the, uh, you know, the region it's in right now is probably about right, um, in line with, the, more or less in line with the, the average of the analyst expectations. Do you think the IPO has uh, quieted some of the questions about uh, Tesla's finances? Uh, I, I saw you had done that thing on uh, your divorce and uh, why that raised questions and you felt you needed to answer that. Do you think the IPO has quieted some of that down? Yeah, I, I think a lot of the speculation about Tesla's um, financial position has, has quieted down. Um, you know, one of the things that an IPO does and, and being a public company does is of course this transparency um, and disclosure and people know that there are, you know, audited financial statements that are being published. Um, so there's there's a greater awareness of, of a company's financial position. And obviously there are pluses and minuses to that. Um, but in our case, I think it's probably more, more positive than negative um, because um, a careful review of our financial situation uh, shows that, for example, on our current business line of the Roadster and uh, lines of the Roadster and um, powertrain business, we're about a, a 20 to 22 percent gross positive gross margin business. Um, you know, so if, if, if that's all we were doing, we would also be profitable. I, show that, I think that shows um, that we have a sort of a, a healthy core business. Um, now, of course, we, we are losing money because we're making massive investments right. in the Model S um, and, uh, you know, and, and our powertrain factory. Um, so that's an investment of roughly half a billion dollars over the course of, um, mostly over the course of 10 quarters. Um, so you're talking about a $50 million a quarter investment on average. And so, of course, it's impossible for a company to be profitable in the face of that. Um, but... Uh, you know, you can also look at the, you know, do we have that, that money? And I think with the, the, the combination of the DOE loan plus the proceeds from the IPO, uh, we actually have 50% more money than we actually need to execute the Model S. Really? 50% more? Yeah. The Model S is, is, is roughly um, a half billion dollar program of which um, more than $100 million has already been spent. So on a go-forward basis, it's roughly $400 million. $100 million has been spent. Directly on the Model S. I mean, if you say indirectly, um, you, 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 then it becomes a much larger number. But if you say specifically on the Model S, it's about $100 million so far. Um, so uh, we've drawn down um, about uh, $50 million of the DOE loan. So there's about $400 million left of the DOE loan. So in other words, with the DOE loan, just with the DOE loan, we actually have sufficient capital to execute the Model S business, um, assuming we execute it according to current plan. But then over and above that, we actually have um, raised a quarter billion dollars through the IPO process. So that gives us, um, and effectively, about a 50% uh, safety margin on the, Model S, um, on the Model S program. One big question that I have has to do with the size of the EV market. I mean, Tesla has been pretty much lonely out there alone with actual car on the uh, right. There's, been, the there's certainly been plenty of press releases. 